Hello, FST friends. Um, we are moving on into our next concept, which I believe is going to be new to all of you. Okay, so take careful notes here. Here we go. We're talking about an introduction to matrices. This is 4.1 part one. Okay, we're going to take it slow. Um, we're talking about a matrix, okay, using uh, matrix, matrices. Matrix is the singular, matrices is the plural, and matrices organize data in useful ways to make computations quicker and easier. They are embedded in computers, okay? A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of objects set in a square bracket. Um, each object in the matrix is called an element, okay? And so let's take a look at an example of a matrix, okay? And so this was um, data actually from um, 2018, so it's a bit outdated, but even still, let's just take a look, okay? So this represents sales at the Manhattan Beach Apple Store, okay, of iPhone 10s. Maybe remember back to when 10s was like the thing, right? Um, iPhone X Maxes, watches and iPads over a two-day span, Monday and Tuesday, Okay, so just like a couple of things going on here. First thing is um, sometimes we call, we give matrices a name, okay? So I'm going to name this matrix, matrix A, so that's why I put a little A right there. Okay, sometimes we name matrices, sometimes we don't, okay? Um, you can see that there's two rows right here, so I just want to point that out. There are clearly two rows here, okay? And then there's one, two, three, four columns, Okay, and so we always state rows first and columns um, second, and so um, we would say that this is a two by four. Okay, this is a two by four matrix. All right, what's the element in row two, column three? Okay, so let's see, row two, column three. Okay, hopefully you'll agree that that's 110. Okay, what's in row one? Okay, so row one and column two, hopefully you'll agree that that's 60. And what's the element in row two, column four, hopefully you'll agree with me that that would be 95. Okay, so just identifying elements that are in a matrix. And now let's just move over here and let's talk about operations, just super basic operations. Okay, so number one, when you are adding and subtracting, you must have two matrices that are same dimensions, okay? And so let's just talk about this one. Okay, so there's one, two, three rows, and one, two columns. So this is a three by two, okay? And this is a three by two as well, okay? They must match in order for you to add or subtract, okay? But from here, it's very straightforward. You just add the corresponding um, elements, okay? So like uh, the seven is the top left, the negative eight is the top left, so let's add those, okay? And then let's go with top right, three plus zero, okay? So middle left, negative two plus five, and middle right, one plus 12, okay? And then last one, lower left, five plus negative one, and four plus negative uh, 11, and that's our answer, okay? Pretty straightforward, okay? They just have to match, be in corresponding spots, okay? Also pretty uh, straightforward is what we call scalar mul multiplication. And so that's when you just have a number kind of out in front of a matrix, okay? A multiplier, also known as a scalar, okay? Um, this is really straightforward. It's just like a big distribution. You need to distribute it to all the terms, okay? And so our resulting matrix here is gonna be four times negative three, which is negative 12. 4 times 1, which is 4, 4 times 5, which is 20, 4 times 13, which is 52, 4 times 0, which is 0, and 4 times negative 9, which is negative 36, okay, and there's our answer, okay. Also, let's just talk about the size of this matrix. This is a 1, 2 by 1, 2, 3. We would call this a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, let's come over here and try and see if we can put these ideas together. All right. So here we have the five out in front and the negative two out in front of this one. So first big scalar multiplication, this is a three by three and another three by three. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the big scalar distribution. 
Okay, so when I do that, first one, I'm going to get 5 times 3 is 15, 35 across the top, okay, negative 40, 20, and 15 across the middle row, and negative 35, 5, and 45, okay, across the bottom row. All right, now I'm going to come over here. Now be careful here. you got to distribute not only the 2, but also the negative. Okay, and so I think we're going to get, and since we're distributing not only 2, but also the negative, now we can turn this into a plus here. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2, that's negative 4, negative 6 across the top row, that's negative 8, negative 10, negative 12 across the middle row, and negative 14, negative 16, negative 18 across the bottom row. Okay, and then now if we just add these together, just add them in their corresponding spots. Let's see, 15 plus a negative 2 is going to be 13 upper left, okay, 26, and 5 plus negative uh, 6 is negative 1, okay. Um, we're going to have a negative 48, okay, 20 plus a negative 10 is 10, 15 plus a negative 12 is 3, okay. Last one, negative 35 plus negative 14 is negative 49. 5 plus negative 16 is negative 11. And 45 plus negative 18 is, what, 27, I think. All right, and so there you go. All right, so let's take a look at this last one. Why don't you see if you can give it a try? This is a 2 by 2, another 2 by 2. Okay, and I think if you've done this one correctly, whoops, I think you should have got this. All right, so give it a try.